Throughout the Nasuverse timelines, the fight for survival, the fight to keep your family running strong. It gets hectic out here, man. A lot of these families were born with a head start, and many of the people that did have the lead end up losing that over time. But that doesn't mean that this has to be the case forever. In a desperate push for power, many of these families started to turn to the phantasmal species known as the Oni kind. Yokai, ogres, trolls, demons, all of which being entities that stand as a subcategory under this species. Once the people started taking their powers into consideration, they started to breed with these creatures and nurture their own families around them. Now you might be thinking, why them? What makes them so special? But in Japan, the Oni kind have notoriously made their way into several legends as the monsters who dominate everything that's around them. The families were like, let me get a piece of that. Usually their presence is accompanied by giant horns, great size, and coupled with their immense power. And we're gonna get into a couple of those today. You have Benny Enma, for instance, who falls under their kind. When it comes to Grand Order, she was adopted by King Yama, the overseer over hell in Buddhist myth. But through some manipulation that took place during her summoning, she is now gaining access to being one of the Oni spirits that's usually under his wing. She comes equipped with the wings of a sparrow and can even take on the sparrow's speed, form, and size to quickly chop down her enemy. Her background also gives access to the Hell Sparrow sword technique, which gives her top tier swordsmanship and culinary arts. Her phantasm allows her to unleash supernatural beings against her enemy, followed up by a judgment from her father, King Yama. Although the original lore didn't go down the same way that it did in Fate, Ibaraki Doji is one of the Oni kind that serve Shuten Doji. She is one of the smallest Oni out of them all, yet her appearance and her power speaks volumes in comparison to her physique. For her appearance, she comes with black and red horns, golden eyes, and some pretty dark beastly nails. She has red on her hands and feet. Her hair itself can be turned into flames. Her weapon of choice is the great bone blade that can only be accessed by the Oni. It has been forged through a mass of curses with Oni bones in the fiery depths of hell. This blade can moonwalk around the cheap swords that are created by the common man. In her past, she served as the ringleader of all the Oni that was present at Mount Oe. Her phantasm gives us an example of what her true Oni form would look like. Here we can see that she would have a giant detachable hand imbued with mana burst flames that can burn directly through the enemy. Shuten Doji is yet another Oni that has her origins stemming from Mount Oe. She is one of the three greatest monsters of Japan alongside Otake Maru and of course your favorite fox Tamamo. In her lore she is said to be the descendant of either the dragon god Orochi or Kuzu Ryu depending on where you find her. Her most noticeable Oni features being her pale skin, her red tip horns, and her sharp fangs. While she's in this form however, her parameters have been decreased in order for her to fit her vessel and her phantasm too is less in alignment with her Oni form. But recently, Grand Order has also released the full-fledged version of Shuten known as Ibuki Doji, who is more in tune with those same missing features. Instead of being a descendant, this time around she is recognized as a direct child of Orochi and appears as a divine spirit. She is nearly 10 feet tall with massive weight and black and purple horns bursting out of her head. 10 feet you say? Am I tripping? Cause it sounds to me like she's trying to win a championship. What is this? Her hair comes to us in an unnatural color. It's blue. And to top it off, she comes with a giant serpent tail. The extent of her powers include her shooting lightning strikes from her hand, summoning entire storm clouds that would shoot more focused lightning bolts, the power to bring out smaller individual snakes that will eat the flesh of her target, or shoot them with laser beams. The choice is yours. 
Her weapon of choice is an enormous whip formed out of a monster's spine. She also has healing properties. Her phantasm is the legendary Kusanagi Divine Blade. It is the original version of the sword that Muramasa used back in Shimosa. This sword was said to be forged out of Orochi's tail after his death. And since she now has access to her father's genes, she's now gained access to her father's blade. Then we have Suzuka Gozen. Now Suzuka Gozen appears to us as the demon daughter of the fourth king of heaven. For this reason, she too has had her vessel downgraded in order for her to fit the servant container. She even has access to a noble phantasm that allows her to draw ability from her original self. But even this has its limits that might result in her own demise. In her past, she had direct orders from heaven to morph Japan into an evil place. For her appearance, this manifestation shows her having fox ears and a tail with the ability to alter her form at will. Her weapons of choice is the Daitsurin, the Shotorin, and the Kenmyorin. This is used to complement her three sword fighting style. She can also split her first sword into 250 individual armaments as a testament to her divine power. And lastly, we have Kijio Koyo. She is one of the newest spirits that just appeared in Fate Requiem, as well as in Grand Order. She is said to be a gift to the world from the Demon King of the Sixth Heaven, which, as you know in Fate, is Oda Nobunaga. In her first form, she shows up as a dinosaur who is incapable of speech and must communicate through telepathy. Her later forms have her gaining this speech and appearing with more dominant Oni form characteristics. A green set of horns protruding out of her forehead, golden eyes, tribal tattoos, all while still maintaining the old portions of her body like dinosaur hands, feet, and a tail. I don't know how I feel about that. Now again, contrary to most servants, she also has healing properties, and her weapon of choice is a three-pronged sword. Her demon background has allowed her to access a high level of witchcraft since the age of nine. Although she is not a direct ancestor, she is the reason that one of the main characters in Tsukihime, Akiha Tono, exist today of course this was just to name a few of the main ones there are still some that are left unexplored and with the re-emergence of Tsukihime there's a good chance that we're bound to get some in grand order to work with let me know what you guys think like the video if you enjoyed it shout out to all the patrons and I will be back with more tight moon content it is your boy Saya. I'm out <laughs>